So I'm just, I'm just thinking out loud, what is your standard? And I'm talking to people who say you can lose salvation. What is this, <clears throat> the standard? Uh, what is the one sin that really can take somebody um, to hell? Because see, here's the thing. <sighs> There's a lot of people who have bipolar you know, schizophrenia, depression, anxieties, PTSD. Um, I can go on and on and on and on. And even people who don't have illnesses or diseases or anything like that um, can fall into deep anxiety and depression and you know, little things can trigger them. Maybe they are struggling, you know, struggling with uh, something that uh, happened to them when they were little children. You know, again, I can go on and on and on. And so my thing is, I know somebody, I'm not going to name names, that just recently um, went to jail for about two weeks. And she is very dear to my heart. She has uh, an illness, and she, but and she makes lots of wrong decisions. But she, she is saved. How do I know that she's saved? Well, because her testimony. She loves the Lord. She loves God. But she goes in and out of deep depression. And she doesn't make all the best decisions. Just like we don't all make the best decisions. Still as Christians, we still can stumble and make wrong decisions. Okay? But I'm using her as an example. Okay? So... She told me, she said, I cried out. She said, it was just me and God, and It was just me and God. And she said, I read my Bible, and I, it brought tears to my eyes the way she was talking. She says, I know that the Lord will never leave me. And, um, you know, <laughs> we are all fallible, flawed creatures. And we are, we, our flesh will continue to sin until we get our glorified bodies. The difference between a born again Christian and an unbeliever is this, that our heart is new, that we are made the righteousness of Christ Jesus, that we are, we are holy because of him. We are righteous because of him. We are sanctified and justified because of Jesus Christ. And now he lives in, uh, in, in us. And so just like the fairies, the Pharisees and the scribes did back in the day, you know, they looked at the outer cup, you know, oh, you have to wash your hands. Oh no, they didn't wash their hands. Oh no, they're in sin. Oh no, look at them. Look. Oh, look at those drunker. Look at those people who are drinking wine. Oh no, they're not saved. Oh no, look at those people who don't go into the temple and don't go to it inside of a, a man made church building. They're not saved. Oh no, oh no. God does not look at the outer cut. God's first miracle was turning water into wine, and it wasn't grape juice. Okay? So, um, my point in this is what is your, like, I really, <laughs> what is the standard? Because my God says that when a born again Christian comes to Jesus by faith, by believing by faith, that Jesus Christ is God almighty and that he died for me and was buried and rose again. And I realized at that moment, oh my gosh, like, he is who he says he is. He is Jesus Christ. Um, and you know what? It's a heart change. It's not an outer cup change. When I got saved um, 10 years ago, I didn't 
automatically get into my Bible. I was still cursing. I was still drinking. I was still getting drunk. Um, you know, I was uh, watching dirty uh, things on TV, etc., etc. You would have thought if somebody was um, a Christian and looked at me, they probably would have thought that I looked like an unbeliever. It's not the outer cup. It is the heart. And that's my thing is like I was when I got off the phone with um, the person that I'm talking about, I just started busting into tears. It's just God never leaves his children. God never leaves his children. If you believed in Jesus by faith, you are born again. You are free from the condemnation. You have passed from the death to life. You cannot no longer go back to death. The Bible does not say that a born-again Christian goes back to death. That is a lie from the pit of hell. You know, and I know like this is a heavy subject because I know like there's a lot of people who say they believe in Jesus um, but they really don't and they are trying to work their way into heaven. You can't work your way into heaven. It's all about the faith. Ephesians uh, 2, 8 through 9, it says that you are saved by um, grace through faith. It is not of works, lest you boast. Oh, look at me, 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 look at my outer cup, look at my outer cup, look at my outer cup. You know what? Some people, like, if I got in a car accident and I said, F. A curse word right then and there. Boom. Am I going to hell? No. If I went to a wedding and got a little tipsy, am I going to hell? No. Um, it, you know, <laughs> my gosh, the self-righteous people reeks. It reeks. It is the heart. We can't say if somebody is saved or not saved. Now, I know like, um, you know, uh, you know, if if a person says that they are a Christian and they're, you know, and by their testimony, they say they're saved and it's by faith and they say that they believe in Jesus by faith and they fall into fornication or, um, you know, adultery or something like that and they don't repent from it and they don't really care about it, then yes, we are supposed to say, uh, brother, how can we help you? And this and this and this. And if they don't want to turn from it, then yes, we are supposed to mark them and walk away. And because it's, 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 a um, it's a bad testimony on their part. And it's just, it makes us look terrible. Okay. That's why Paul says to renew your mind, to renew your mind. We are complete in Christ Jesus. So if we are made complete, we cannot be unmade complete um, as a born again Christian. Just some things to think about, like just to kind of ponder over, you know. So anyways, <laughs> I love you. Ran over.